Hey everybody, I'm Mort, TFT's game design lead. I'm here to give you an update on some of the things we're cooking up in the first half of 2021. Specifically, we're going to take a sneak peek at the next new set, as well as TFT's first new mode. As my tea-loving, washed-up Set 1 Challenger colleague TJ shared a few months ago, TFT's next set is based on the ultimate struggle between good and evil, chaos and order, and light and dark. In TFT Reckoning, you'll be able to take part in the battle between these two epic forces and determine the fate of the world. One of the new origins of this set will be Draconic. Each round you play with the Draconic trait active will add an egg to your bench, and after a few turns, that egg will hatch. What does it hatch into? Sometimes it's more Draconic champions, sometimes it's something else. You'll have to wait and see, but so far it's been a very excellent trait in our playtests. Few champions represent the battle of good versus evil in Reckoning, as well as the god kings, Darius and Garen. You certainly won't want to play both, as they don't work well together. Instead, they're opposites that are extra powerful against opposing forces. So choose which one you recruit to your team wisely. Next, there's a new special champion that is as powerful as a legendary 5 cost, but with a really big catch. Little Devil Teemo doesn't want your gold, and in fact costs zero gold in the shop. Instead, Teemo wants your life, and you'll have to pay with your precious HP if you want to recruit him into your team. Getting a 3-star Teemo is going to cost a lot of health, so be really careful. Finally, one of the launch set favorites will be making a return this set, and is sure to be just as exciting as he was back then. Sadly, I'm not supposed to say who it is yet, but it's Draven. Draven's coming back. Assuming everything stays on track, Teamfight Tactics Reckoning will launch on April 28th with patch 11.9, and we'll share a lot more in the weeks ahead. We're happy with the core TFT experience that you already know and love, but we think there's also room to explore and grow TFT in new ways. Whether it's an alternate way to experiment with team building, shop rolling, gold managing, or not managing, or any other number of aspects of TFT. Maybe you're short on time, or maybe you want a meaningful way to play with your friends, or maybe you just want to slam reroll again and again and again. That's what the all new TFT labs are for. Labs are going to be an experimental way to play TFT, our goal is to try out different ideas and play styles to understand what you all like. These labs will stick around for a bit, and then may leave to make room for new ones. Or if they're wildly popular, may just stick around. And the first of these new labs will be Hyper Roll. Hyper Roll aims to get you in and out of a game in around 15 minutes or so. You start with 10 health, and you lose 1 HP every time you lose a round. Though later in the game that jumps up to 2 or even 3 HP per loss. There's also no gold interest, so feel free to roll to your heart's content. Neutral minion rounds, item drops, the leveling system, and the carousel rules have also changed. Hyper Roll and other labs in the future will also use a separate and slightly different system than our core ranked. We still want you to be able to climb and show off that you're the best Hyper Roll player out there, but we want to reserve our existing ranks like Challenger and Grandmaster for the core TFT experience. Hyper Roll is slated to launch with Reckoning, and we'll share even more details as we get closer. Before we go, I wanted to take a moment to thank all of you for how far TFT has come. When we launched TFT, we really didn't know what kind of reception it was going to have. With the initial set, we saw a large amount of interest, but that went down over time. Even with the launch of Rise of the Elements, we weren't sure if the set system would keep you coming back for more. But now, almost two years in and coming up on our fifth set, each time we launch a big update, more than 10 million of you come back to play TFT every day. And so far, you've played over 2.5 billion hours of Fates. All of us on the team are so grateful for how many of you have joined the community, and we want to thank you all for enjoying the game and letting us continue to bring even more awesome stuff with each set. That's it for now. We hope you've been enjoying the Festival of Beasts, and we're looking forward to crowning a champion at the Fates Championship with its $250,000 prize pool. Until then, take it easy, and we'll see you on the Convergence.